muscles of the leg using the leg model. Notice we had a left arm for that arm model. We have a left leg for this leg model. I'm not sure if the larger leg is a left. I don't have it in the lab right now to look at. Um, make sure you look and make sure which side you're dealing with. Okay, so for the upper leg, I can turn it over here and we can look at the gluteus maximus. Whoops, gluteus maximus. Um, gluteus medius is here. And the sartorius is in front right here. This is sartorius. The quadriceps femoris group is here. And of that group, um, you need to have rectus femoris, the middle one, and then vastus medialis, which is the more medial one, and vastus lateralis. For the back of the leg, this is the hamstring group. It is made up of the biceps femoris, the semitendinous, and then directly underneath it, semimembranous. Semimembranous. For the adductors, this is the gracilis. And this is the adductor longus. For tendons, calcaneal tendon or Achilles tendon, And on the leg, the iliotibial tract is here. Iliotibial tract. For the lower leg, right up next to the tibia is tibialis anterior. And then over here we have extensor digitorum longus. It's literally going to cause it's literally going to cause the toes to extend. The gastrocnemius is on the back of the lower leg. This is gastrocnemius. And the soleus is underneath the gastrocnemius. On this model, it's represented here. And if I lift up this head of the gastrocnemius, and pull it off of this model, if it'll cooperate, there we go. All of this area underneath the gastrocnemius is soleus. So the soleus, again, is deep to the gastrocnemius. It's under the gastrocnemius. Whoops. And those are the muscles of the lower leg and the leg entire.